uh, Lugano is not far away from Italy. It's in Switzerland, but the south part from Switzerland. So it's close to the Italian border. And uh, 20 minutes by car, you are in Italy. Yeah, it's one of the nice places I know. I travel a lot, and I, I have always... Uh, I want always to go back there. When I, when I go back there, I really feel it's a nice region to, to live because it's never too cold, never too, too hot. In the winter time, I, I go ski, and in the summertime, we can go swim in the lake. We have mountains, lakes. My parents, they played also. And uh, first of all, my mother, when she, uh, when she was pregnant, she, she prides. And she bought a piano, and she wanted to have a piano player, a son. That's true. And uh, so I <laughs> thought that, that become t- true. And uh, my father, he used to play, and he, play, he still plays uh, a lot of instruments. We have almost every instrument at home. We have from the Alphorn to, to, to grand pianos. I have two grand pianos at home. We have uh, uh, everything. <laughs> Only uh, I don't have is drum set. That's the only thing I do, don't have. I started six years old. I was about six. I think already before I played a little bit, but I remember six was the, the time I really began to practice. My, my mother, she told me that I could read music before reading the alphabet. I don't remember that so good, but she told me that. And when I was one or two months old, already a baby, she, she, she always whistled to me when she was uh, going around with, um, how we say this, yes. And she whistled to me, and I, I start to whistle. So all the people, they, wow, your baby <laughs> whistles. That becomes a musician. My father used to play jazz, uh, New Orleans jazz, uh, Dixieland, uh, old, the old jazz and uh, traditional and he also plays Swiss music, folk music, or uh, dance music. I, when I was 14, I, we, we, we played together on a boat in Lugano. We have the lake, and it was a, a dancing cruise boat. And every evening in the summer, we played together with my father. I played their uh, music, a lot of types of music. And, and uh, I played, but the study at home, I play a lot of boogie-woogie blues. It's fast, it's moving, it's a happy music. And... They just move, they just start to dance with it. It's, uh, so they, they like the children when they hear boogie. They, they just come to the piano and, and, and they, they look at the fingers, they're moving so fast. And that, that's, that's, they are attracted by, by fast things, no? if you, by run, either race cars. Or, so it's like a, a race on, on the piano and it's just fun, fun music to play. And, I, I participated to a, a little um, contest. It was a school contest, and uh, everybody who, who was participating uh, get a little um, uh, how you say yeah paper. You can go to the record store and you can choose a record. And then so I went there and I choose a little record, uh, um, an old record. I remember it was a Queen of Boogie by Hedda Brooks. She died a few years ago, and my dream was always, since then, I think I was about 14, 15 years old, I wanted to meet her, because she was so attractive on this picture, no? And in my mind, she was always there, <laughs> and, and, uh, but I never got the chance, and now she, she died, and, and uh, I was really sa- very sad, I really wanted to see, because that was also something, I have seen the eyes of this man in, in my head, when I went to the record store, I didn't choose uh, pop music. I went to the blues, and when I see the piano, and I went with this record, and he told me, yeah, great guy, you have a good taste. <laughs> and I had a big chance then when I was 17 years old. Uh, my English teacher, he was the organizer of the blues festival in Lugano. And uh, one day he comes to school, and instead of, uh, of teaching us grammatics, he always was speaking about uh, his uh, blues and uh, about musicians. And one day he comes in the, in the school class and he told to the, to the class um, that this year festival, he, a piano player from the States, he cannot come. And then my, 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 my friends, they, they, they told him, but listen, Silvan, he plays. And, and then really 
he, 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 I think he heard me at the, at the final day of the school. I played some piano and he heard me and he said, oh yeah, that sounds good. Uh, and I, he booked me for the, um, to play at the festival. So I, I was 17, I played on the grand piano on the big stage where the Americans should play. You know, the, and that was my start. We have a lot of boogie, boogie players in Europe. And so every important boogie boogie player of every nation, he organizes a concert. And then he invites others. So they started to invite me, and uh, they, I see that they want to be also invited. So I <laughs> see, so one day I, was, uh, I thought, uh, okay, let's do a festival in Lugano, or really for this kind of music, boogie boogie. And uh, we have this jazz festival, we have the blues, but we had not this festival. So I, I really set up this festival, and it was hard work, my God. I did all by myself. Nobody believes it because every festival has a lot of uh, workers around and I do it all by myself with help of my family and we really, I'm very proud of it. I, 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 <laughs> now it's the fifth time next year and um, yeah, I'm very happy with it. Now I do it four days next year with uh, a contest also for young piano players who can, uh, um, can join because there, we have a lot of young piano players and uh, they, they want to, to participate, but I cannot take them. So I, I do this contest and also to, to, uh, that they learn the, the old classical. So if somebody wants to participate, you have to play a classical of the boogie woogie style and also something uh, improvisating or own compositions. So I want to keep this style in the history going on with the young people. And,